Welcome back to Bradley's Garage. Today we're, uh, we're at the junkyard, you know, we love coming to this place. So finally the rain has lit up in Southern California. It's been raining for like five days straight, so everything's a muddy mess. But uh, we got this Dodge Ram truck. We're helping out one of our subscribers. I don't know if you guys saw this video. It's been a couple years now, but we helped Anthony out with his Dodge Ram. We did a rear end swap for him. And so we went to the junkyard, we got a, a rear end and threw it in his truck. Everything's been going great for the past couple years. Um, and then his motor and his truck, it's got like 290,000 miles on it and through a rod. So uh, we found this beauty, this car, if you come around, take a look. Then uh, this guy got, uh, got wrecked. This guy looks like he got a little accident, hit the center divider, uh, broke off the rear wheel and stuff. So good news is that we like to get engines from cars that are wrecked because that means they were running and driving when you know, they got in an accident. So we looked it up on the Carfax. This thing's only got 156,000 miles on it. So we got our nice little uh, 5.7 liter Hemi in here and uh, we're gonna rip it out. So let's jump on it. All right, so let's uh, take a look under the hood. Uh, I like to pull the dipstick and oh man, look at that guys. That is beautiful. I mean the engine, obviously they drain the oil but the remnants that was there that's some brand new stuff. So this engine is in tip top shape. I'm liking it. All right, so uh, I know we kind of just cut to fast forward, but uh, as you can see, we got the whole front off. It was kind of bent. We can only access a few little bolts, but uh, uh, we had to cut the frame rail in a couple places with the good old Milwaukee uh, Sawzall there. So as you can see, this guy hit the center divider or whatever, and both frame rails are completely bent. So um, we just want to give us enough room so we can grab this engine, grab the tranny and pull it out. So next up, we'll get the drive shaft disconnected, get the exhaust unhooked, and then uh, loosen up those engine mounts. And then go grab a hoist from these guys and start jacking it up. All right, we just uh, split the transmission, got the motor out. We're gonna pull off this torque converter, otherwise they wanna charge you for it. And I think we gotta pull off the accessories because these guys nickel and dime you for everything. But uh, yep, came out nice. Let's see how much they want for this bad boy. All right guys, so it got dark on us, man. All pushing the engine up to the front. They didn't even have a trailer to load us up. It was a pain in the ass, but uh, here we go. We got an engine in the back and uh, yeah, let's get it home, let's get it cleaned up and do some minor uh, maintenance on it and maybe some valve covers, water pump, thermostat, all the stuff while it's out of the truck and then it's called rip the other engine out. So let's get busy. All right, so we made it over to Anthony's. He's been busy uh, getting things staged for us. So he's got a lot of stuff apart already. Got a lot of things disconnected. So we're just going to keep jumping at it and getting the rest of this motor, get it ready to be pulled, and then get the other one cleaned up and swap over some parts. So, um, give you guys an update. All right, so uh, we took out the two rear engine mount bolts. So what we're gonna do is we'll get the hoist hooked up, take the weight off of it, and then we'll remove the, the front two. As you can see, they're all, everything's loose. And then the, the cross bolt, we'll, uh, we'll get that out. Uh, so that be, basically you need to remove the engine mounts sort of after you got the engine lifted it doesn't come out you know there's not enough room to clear it like hits everything so just fyi all right so we got our seat belt attached to the motor we've got our hoist here and then uh anthony's working on that last bolt on the transmission so we got it supported there and then we're going to try to just kind of leave the tranny in position see if it'll balance there that's gonna be our plan. So uh, we'll see how things work out and um, get that last bell housing bolt out. Okay, so we just have those, uh, those front two engine mount bolts, those 15 millimeter, pull those two out on the both sides. We already, you know, I showed you guys, we already did the back already. So we pre remove those. So take those bolts off of each side, and then basically you have your uh, your 18 millimeter uh, bolt, and that's the the through bolt. We're gonna remove those now. Okay, and you'll have to play around with the bolt a little bit. You might have to raise, yeah, the engine. We have it kind of supported now. 
So you just want to do that. Same thing on this side. Get those two out and pull that bolt out. All right, so we got uh, a little bit of separation. We jacked the transmission up a little bit and we're gonna go ahead and pull forward a little bit. All right, so we're just doing a little swap uh, on the uh, on the 05. They have the EGR port, you know, here, and on ours we don't have that EGR stuff. We actually blocked it off. This cylinder head came off a later model, but in general it doesn't have it. You can see that hole is just blocked off. So we're gonna swap off uh, the intake manifolds. Uh, the water pump on ours is like basically brand new, so we're gonna take that off as well. Put the old parts on the engine that needs to go back. They're charging $350 for the core now. So um, anyway, we're gonna get this cleaned up, swap those parts over, and then we'll uh, get it ready to get back in. All right guys, so uh, we switched all the parts over. We're gonna do a quick little pressure wash on the engine itself, get it all cleaned up. No reason to put a dirty engine back in. And then we're also gonna go ahead and uh, clean up the engine bay. So uh, let's, uh, let's go over and do that, check it out. You know, just the, we got subframe, you know, build up. I mean, this is a 2003, so it's been dirty for a while. So let's get it cleaned up. So just gonna get it all dried up and then uh, we're running out of daylight today. So we'll be back uh, tomorrow and we'll stuff this bad boy in. All right, we're back. We're ready to pop this engine back in. Everything's cleaned up and dry after our pressure wash. Got all of our new parts, engine mounts, oil. We're gonna just do the rear main seal while we're at it. So we're gonna get this off of the engine stand here, replace it. Looks like maybe it's been done, but we did notice it was seeping a little bit when we were cleaning it up. So while we have it off, might as well do it. And yeah, everything else looks pretty solid on it. So. Uh, We'll bolt all the accessories on after we get it in. That way we're working with a nice, small, compact engine. Get our torque converter set up. And yeah, we're ready to, ready to go. Okay, we got torque converter in place. We have our new rear main seal and our flex plate starter ring is on and torqued down. So I think we're, uh, we're ready. Ready to stuff this bad boy in. Oh, brother. Oh, gotta love it. So you just start working, it starts raining. Yeah, I don't know what happened. <sighs> I know. It didn't even say cloudy. There wasn't even a cloud on the thing. Like, you know, sometimes it's cloudy. Uh-huh. Look at you with your little tinker. Okay, how we looking? Let's get it going. All right, so got the mounts into position, got them all snug. We did pull out, the, we did push the tranny back just a little bit because we realized that we're gonna have to replace this mount. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and get the new mount in and then get things bolted together. All right, guys, so Anthony's been busy working. He's got this, uh, got all the parts back on while I was underneath doing all the uh, transmission, housing bolts, everything. He's got all the accessories back on. We got the belts, the fan. We got the expansion tank, air box. So next up is, let's get these fluids in. We got the pre-mixed with the distilled. I know the bottle says purified, but it's just an empty bottle. And we got our oil, and so yeah, let's uh, let's get some fluids in and get ready to fire this bad boy up. So this tank holds like uh, four and a half gallons, so make sure you stock up. Okay, this guy holds seven quarts.
All right, guys, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and uh, put in a new output shaft seal since we dropped the drive shaft. Put that guy in. We're just using a piece of copper pipe. Found it it's a little bit easier. That way we can just tap it in. It is a little, it's metal, metal on metal, so it does take a little bit of effort to get it to seat, but just want to show you guys, we got the new, obviously we did the new transmission mount since we slid it back a couple inches to mate it with the engine. And so, yeah, and we'll clean up this yoke here and get the drive shaft going. All right, so we got the, we hooked up the battery. I'm just gonna give it a boost because we know we're gonna be cranking it for a minute uh, because uh, we don't have, the fuel rail is not primed. So I don't wanna burn up our, our battery here. But we got our oil, we got our coolant, and um, yeah, everything's hooked up. So let's uh, let's see what happens. What the? What? Instant? Instant? Wow! Junkyard engine. Four hundred dollars. Wow, guys! Good job, Woo! <laughs> nice. Oh man. Wow, I didn't. I thought it was gonna crank for like 15, 20 seconds. That fuel pressure came up immediately. Are you uh, Are you excited? Yeah, good job, Jared. Yeah. Job. All right. Cool. Wow, I'm blown away, man. We always had good success with, uh, you know, the junkyard. A little tip for you guys is uh, just uh, look for those wrecked cars. You got a wrecked car, damage, front damage, rear damage, doesn't matter as long as it's wrecked. Typically means it was running and driving while, uh, you know, during the, you know, before the accident. So I'm not saying there's nothing wrong mechanically if people are driving around with something, but usually it's minor, minor stuff. So. Yeah, we'll let this thing warm up a little bit. We'll top off the fluids, but damn, awesome. All right, guys, so uh, we took it for a quick spin. Uh, everything's working great. We brought it up to temp. Everything's looking good. We'll let it cool down a little bit, uh, burp that coolant, make sure we're 100% good, but another score from the junkyard, guys. So uh, thanks again, Anthony, for yeah, reaching out. I'm glad yeah. we could help you out. Yeah, First we did is, you know, rear end, if you haven't checked out that video, so check it out. We'll put a link in the description below, but yeah, it was fun, fun project. So hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll catch you guys on the next one.